What's up everybody and thank you for joining me for another video. My name is Wack4863, but you can call me Wack. In today's video, I am going to show you how to easily kill the king and queen scorpion in the silver mine. Now, if you don't know where to find the silver mine, I will show you right here on the map in between the Jawbone and Rhino Horden Ridge in 6 on the line of B and C. That's where we're at, this is where we're going, and I am going to run right in there. So, you need some arrows and a bow and a pike of your choice in order to do this. Get some healing items and you can bring some poison as well. I highly recommend the poison because this can take quite a while. Now, if you want to see more videos like this where I show you how to easily kill an enemy or a boss creature, leave a like on this video so that I know I should continue doing those. Let's go over my settings real quick and I will show you what we're working with. So I am going to uh, disable cloak mode at this point in time. That way you can see how I sneak past part of this stuff. I also have my damage multiplier for my player damage up to 10. That way I can kill uh, the enemies very quickly. And that's the only reason why I made that change, guys, is to just not waste your time. So I'm going to show you how to sneak by everything that you're going to see here on the right. We're going to sneak by that first, and then we'll come back and bring the King Scorpion over. So all we're going to do is stay to the far left-hand side of this cave, and we're going to simply jump through all these rocks. You can't climb, so you've got to jump through, uh, but if you jump through all these rocks, you can pretty much avoid aggro entirely. We did get aggro from one little scorpion, but he quickly moved on, and not to worry. So the first thing that you want to do is take out the scorpion to the right and the one on the left over here. You're going to want to clear those out first, and then we will deal with the three scorpions up at the top of the stairs. Now you have the queen and two small scorpions, one on the left, one on the right, and we're going to just do some damage with the arrow to them. Again, remember my damage multiplier is way up, so I am killing stuff way, way faster than you will be. But here's what you need to do. You need to line yourself up with the brazer, put the scorpion on the other side of that brazer from you, and then you won't be able to get hit. You can see here that I let the little scorpion hit me. That way you know I'm not in god mode. I am not cheating anything as far as the settings. Now, you can call this cheesy or easy or whatever you want, but I just wanted to show you how this works. And remember, I am doing massive amounts of damage. I can stand here and reapply my poison all I want. Do whatever while I'm standing in this spot. Now it is very important that you just use the light attack with the spear, otherwise you are going to start moving around that brazier and you're gonna put yourself out there to take damage. So just use the light attack and just continue poking until she dies. For those of you that enjoy archery and wanna do an archery build, you can do this as well. You line up the same way and just shoot around the side at one of the claws. Now the loot that you get from the queen is the scorpion ward shield, the queen scorpion venom gland, a fragment of power, and a scorpion egg sac if you're lucky. Now this same process works for the scorpion king that we left over here earlier. So if we drag him over, we can do the exact same thing that we were doing before with the scorpion queen. Now, depending on the weapon that you bring and the damage that you're doing, this is going to take you just about 15 minutes per boss to kill them. Now, this guy does give you a skeleton key, and there is a chest in this dungeon, and I'll show you where that's at. There's also a recipe that you're going to want to learn in here, and I'll show you that as well. But if we run up to the right here, you can see we get some Zybar knives out of the legendary chest, and then we're going to interact with this tablet right here. Now, you have to know Star Metal tools in order to learn this, but this teaches you the Scorpion Queen Venom. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video as much as I've enjoyed making it. I'll catch you next time. Peace. I'd like to give a big shout out to all my YouTube members. Y'all are absolute legends. Thank you to all my subscribers for your continued support, likes, comments, and general awesomeness. If you're not subscribed, you can start your free trial today and cancel at any time. Clicking the bell is highly recommended so you don't miss out on my next upload. There's a couple of videos on the screen. You can follow me over there to continue the conversation.